Clock is stopped at 49 seconds. Now they say touchdown Riverdale. That took a long time to figure out, Tommy. Well, I don't know what they were arguing about. <laughs> but after a pause and a consultation, finally the touchdown hands are thrown. And Lebanon on the bottom side of the worst defeat that I can recall in, in all my years of being around Lebanon football. On to attempt the extra point, Ryan Miller. He's only missed one tonight. His kick is up. And it is good. 49 seconds remain in the ball game as it is now Riverdale 52 to 3. And Tommy, we're going to keep it here and not take a break. I'll make one comment, and that is after getting beat by 49 points tonight by a, a, an exceptionally good Riverdale team. I don't really think I want to be beach next week. Well, I, I hope that's the case, Sam. I, I want our kids to be able to, to put this football game behind them to uh, step up and have a good week of practice and get ready for really the important game, the game against Beach. Uh, I, I think our coaches will have a lot to say about how this week of practice goes, about the, uh, the mood that's set and I want to, I'll bet you in the post-game comments with uh, John Bryan that Coach Bob Dillard says that uh, he wants to get this taste out of, out of our mouths quickly and try to get on to better things and get on to thinking about Beach. It'll be Michael Knox to kick the ball away for the Warriors. Griffin stands at the five-yard line, 49 seconds remaining in the ball game. Knox is ready. His kickoff is short. It will be taken by Gannon at the 26. Makes a move 30 up to the 32-yard line. That's where the Blue Devils will go on offense. First and 10 with 43 seconds remaining in the ball game. And Tommy, I uh, wouldn't be surprised if Lebanon simply runs the ball game out. Jerry, what about that last touchdown drive for the Warriors? Tommy, 56 yards, four plays. Rod Smith with the touchdown this time with 49 seconds left in the game. Riverdale, 52, Lebanon, three. So first and 10 for the Blue Devils. Luke Shepard in at fullback. Griffin the tailback. As Reeder will look over a five-man Riverdale line. He'll just give it to Shepard, who will get to the 35, 36-yard line, three yards on the carry for Shepard. 18 seconds remaining in the ball game, Tommy. And as you said, this is a very, very, well, very good Riverdale team. Well, Riverdale's going to be back deep into the playoffs, and I think a question of whether or not they make it to the Clinic Bowl depends a lot on, on some breaks they get up and down the line. They throw the ice bucket on Jimmy Maynard, the defensive coordinator, as Riverdale celebrates his 52-3 win over the Blue Devils. We'll be back with the post-game show with John Bryan and Coach Bob Dillard after this timeout. The post-game show with head coach Bob Dillard and your field reporter, John Bryan. the Lebanon Blue Devils. The post-game show is brought to us by Chum's Convenience Stores, Greg Brothers Car Wash, College Street Church of Christ Youth Ministry, Tim Bennett Insurance, and Steve Jones at Century 21 Making Realty. Coach, uh, it's important to get this one behind us and look ahead to Beach. Well, that's true. Uh, we got to we got to come back Monday and go to work and get ready for Beach. Uh, we'll be playing for either a third or a fourth place spot in the region, and uh, we'll be at home against Beach. Yeah, we got we got Beach at home, and it'll be uh, the winner of that game will go as number three, and the loser will go as number four. So it's important that, that we win next week. Coach, uh, injuries tonight? No, not any that I know of. I think Chris Stafford rolled an ankle a little bit, but uh, I don't think it's anything serious. Coach, good luck this week in, uh, in practice, and we'll be looking forward to next week's game against Beach. Okay. All right, buddy. This has been the post-game show with uh, your host, John Bryan, talking with Coach Bob Dillard, the head coach of the Lebanon Blue Devils in this uh, region game against Murfreesboro Riverdale. The post-game show has been brought to us by Chum's Convenience Stores, Greg Brothers Car Wash, College Street Church of Christ Youth Ministry, Tim Bennett Insurance, and Steve Jones, Century 21 Macon Realty. Tommy, 
Back up to you and Terry and Sam for their wrap up and stats. 52 to three was our final score. Riverdale rolls over Lebanon and Terry Stafford has all the ugly numbers for us right now. Thank you, Tommy. Mercer Riverdale defeats Lebanon tonight, 52 to three. Recapping the scoring and stick with me, this may take a while. Lebanon got on the board first, 539 in the first quarter. Kyle Zachary kicks a 27-yard field goal, and things look good. Lebanon leads three to nothing. After that, it's all downhill. Riverdale, 114 left in the first quarter. Alvin Duke, an eight-yard touchdown run. Riverdale going 64 yards in seven plays. Ryan Miller added the extra point. It's seven to three at the end of the first quarter. In the second quarter, 5.30 left in the second quarter. Alvin Duke, his second touchdown of the night, 10-yard run. Riverdale going 70 yards in five plays. Miller adds the extra point, and it's 14 to three Riverdale at that point. With no time remaining, or on the last play of the first half, Ryan Miller kicks a 28-yard field goal, and at halftime, Riverdale leads 17 to three. The second half is all Riverdale. Th third quarter, 7.38 left in the third quarter. Gerald Griffin from Corey Carney, a 23-yard touchdown pass. Riverdale going 74 yards, seven plays. The extra point is no good. It's 23 to three. Again, Griffin, this time from Carney with 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Carney runs in the two-point conversion. And at the end of three, it's 31 to three, Riverdale. In the fourth quarter, 8.45 left. Fernando Bryant from Eric Locke, a 37-yard touchdown pass. Riverdale going 38 yards in only three plays. Miller kicks the extra point. It's 38 to three. In the fourth quarter again, 5.35 left. Eric Locke, the backup quarterback, runs 38 yards for a touchdown, 51 yards in three plays. Miller kicks the extra point. It's 45 to three, Riverdale. And then with 49 seconds left in the game, Ron Smith, a one-yard touchdown run. Miller kicks the extra point. And that's our final, Riverdale defeating Lebanon 52 to three. Taking a look at the stats, Team-wise tonight, rushing, Lebanon rushes the ball 26 times tonight for 56 yards. Riverdale, 41 carries for 302 yards on the ground. Passing tonight, Lebanon, 3 of 15 for 24 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. Riverdale tonight, 6 of 8, 164 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Total yardage in the game, Lebanon with 80 total yards, Riverdale, 466. First downs, Lebanon with six, Riverdale with 19. Lebanon turned the ball over three times. Riverdale turned it over two. Penalties, Riverdale seven for 55. Lebanon one for 12. Individually tonight, the leading rusher for Riverdale, no surprise, 14 carries, 143 yards for Alvin Duke. Passing tonight, Corey Carney, the Riverdale quarterback, was five of six, two touchdowns, one interception, 127 yards. Individually for Lebanon, Jason Reeder, one carry for minus 13. Bo Grissom, eight for 36. Jade Sellers, 12 for 15. Chris Stafford, two carries, six. Joel Griffin, two carries for four. Luke Shepard, one carry for two. That's 26 carries, 56 yards for Lebanon. Jason Reeder, again, three of 15 tonight, 24 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. The leading receiver tonight, Jeff Clements, two receptions for 25 yards. Tommy, we, we knew coming in Riverdale was a very, very talented team. They did nothing to disprove that tonight as they dominate Lebanon, defeating Lebanon 52 to three. Good, cho good choice of words, Terry Stafford. Domination, 17 to three at the half, and Sam, it just got uglier and uglier as the football game went along. Well, we talked about Riverdale having an excess of speed, Tommy, but something else they have, they dress almost 70 players so they have the ability to run a lot of people onto the field. And I noticed, especially on offense, they were running offensive linemen into the ball game as reserves, and they were still blowing the Blue Devils off the line. So a big time win for Riverdale, and they put what was for them one of the demons from last year away. That was a loss to this team. The only other demon they have left is to win the state. And there's a few teams, hopefully, or a few teams across the state that think they're going to have something to say about that. Well, there's some good football teams out there. I, I would like to see the team that could match Riverdale in speed. Because I, these I guys don't know that you'll find one uh, unless you possibly travel up to Nashville and ask Vanderbilt to give them a run. They may have the same amount of speed. I don't know that anybody on the high school level in this state can do that, Tommy. As you said and as uh, John said in the post-game interview with the coach, put this one behind you. You look to next week. This game, you know, it's a pride game. You got beat, 
but it doesn't mean anything. Well, next, I, next week is the game that Lebanon has to win to at least get some sort of edge to not play the number one team out of the region in Chattanooga. Well, we're going to be going on the road uh, to East Tennessee regardless. We would prefer to play the number two team rather than to play the number one team. Uh, let's, let's hope these kids are able to bounce back uh, to get that uh, psyche back in shape a little bit and to shake off the effects of this football game and concentrate on uh, on Beach and the Buccaneers when they come into Oaks Lassiter Field next week. As uh, Tommy said, Beach coming to town. And, and Tommy, you asked me at the beginning of the season to come do Lebanon football, and I don't know about you, but when it gets down to crunch time, when things matter is when you got to come watch and when it's fun to do these games. Absolutely, and we hope to have a big crowd on hand next week at Noakes Lasseter as Lebanon takes on the Beach Buccaneers. Tune in next week. Hopefully you'll be there at 7.30 for the home finale for these Blue Devils. For Sam Axley, John Bryan, Terry Stafford, Jeff Vaught,